let's learn how to use live symmetry inside of Illustrator to make drawing something like this much, much easier. Tip tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tart. Today we're inside of Illustrator and we're going to learn how to use a live symmetry technique to make drawing objects like this much, much easier. As you can see, anything I draw on the left hand side of the screen is then replicated on the right and the same all the way around. So let's take a look at it. Firstly, we're going to create a new document so we don't have to work with all this gubbins here because frankly that's finished. Uh, and we're just going to create, sure, 1920 by 1080 for the web. That's totally fine. So the way this works is we use a uh, line drawn with the line tool here as a um, guide for our symmetry. Basically, we create a line of symmetry and Illustrator then builds everything we draw around it. So what we're going to do is just holding shift, we're going to click and drag a nice long line that completely cuts our canvas in half, like so. Uh, now, I know this is uh, obviously done horizontally, but it will reflect vertically. It's just the way it works. We're going to create a new layer. Uh, um, sorry, not a new layer. We're going to twirl down to this layer, my mistake. And we're going to click on the layer one section where it says to select everything on the layer. Um, so we've got these two circles around our layer option here. We can then go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then Transform. And we want to make sure that our reflection options are set correctly in order to reflect this. So for example, we want to reflect on the X axis and we want one copy of everything that we reflect. Obviously, if you drew the line the other way, you reflect it on the Y axis. Now, make sure, this is the important step, that you hide this line that you've drawn because that is just for reflection. Everything that you now draw on this layer here should then be reflected down this option here. Now, why it says reflect X when the X axis is, uh, oops, excuse me, is like so, and then it reflects in the middle, I don't know. I think it's a bit like when you reflect normally when you flip a thing in Illustrator, for some reason, the logic is the other way around. Reflect Y means flip on the Y axis. So it would reflect something like this and make it look like this, you know, whereas to me, you're flipping that X, you're not flipping that Y. But it's just the way that the logic, logic works inside of Illustrator. Uh, and as you can see, as I'm going around and drawing things now, um, it's creating those options, uh, these reflections over there. If you wanted to, or I just remembered why I created that second layer earlier. Uh, if you wanted to, you can go and uh, draw yourself a line down the center of the screen on a new layer. Uh, and that can then just act as a guide for you uh, to see where the center of the screen is so that when you are drawing something on layer one, you know that that is the middle of the screen for example. Yeah. So you might come in and you'll start drawing your little um, dragon or whatever it's going to be like, so, you know, and then he's got some eyes or whatever and a big angry frown like this. Yeah. And then he comes out like that and he's got a, he's got a jaw and he's got his little wing things here that come out like this, you know, and then he's got his big horns and all of this stuff is reflected. Like so. Obviously, that means if you want to draw a tongue or something that isn't reflected, you can just pop that on its own layer, which won't then have the reflection applied. Oops, excuse me. Which won't then have the reflection applied. Like so. Okay. Obviously, that is not as beautiful as that, but that's because that took me about four hours to make. But the reflection thing stands. Basically, pop everything you want to reflect on one layer and everything you don't want to reflect on another one with a reflection X axis in place. And that's it. So thanks very much for watching. I know it's a very quick tutorial, but it's just something that I found out that I thought was cool and thought you guys might enjoy it too. So I'll see you next time on another episode of Tip Top. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.